Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this course, we will learn about insect taxonomy and systematics. Insect taxonomy and systematics and uh, the contents are here uh, such as zoo geography, geographical distribution and short history of entomology then insect evolution then taxonomy systematics and hierarchy then we will know about the classification of insects then in this course we will learn about different type of orders of insect such as odonata thysanura columbula diplura orthoptera blattodi mantodi ephemeroptera picometa picoptera dermaptera isoptera Phasmatodi, Hemiptera, Thysanura, Socoptera, Theraptera, Coleoptera, Strepsiptera, Hymenoptera, Lepidoptera, Diptera, uh, Siphoneptera. Then at last we will know about the rules of zoo nomenclature, international code and taxon. So these are the contents here um, we will con include in this course. So let's get started. Firstly, I would like to tell about the zoo geography. The entire extent of land or water over which a species occurs is termed as geographical range. The kind of environment on which it lives its ecological range. The study of animal distribution and of the factors controlling is known as zoo geography. Again, zoo geography is a branch of biogeography uh, bio that is concerned with geographic distribution of animal species. Here we can see in this picture uh, different types of animals and species which um, uh, indicate the zoo geography area. So this is the part of zoo geography. Then I would like to tell about the uh, geographical distribution of um, uh, insect uh, according to always 1876 such as um, Ethiopian region in Africa oriental region Asia uh, Pala Arctic Pala Arctic region Europe then uh, Nearctic region such as North America except part of Mexico then neotropical region such as south and south and central america then australia region such as australia new zealand papua new guinea etc so this is the geographical distribution according to all 1876 now we're going to learn about the history of entomology Assumed that insects had been originated about 350 million years ago. The winged insect appeared in fossil record about million years later. Greek philosopher and scientist Aristotle considered as the father of zoology. He realized that insects had different stages in their life cycle. Insect, insects underwent metamorphosis. and thought the pupa were eggs. These three things were realized by the Aristotle. And this is the history of entomology. Then uh, Francis Bacon used maggots in his study. Then invention of microscope in 1599 paved the study of insects. Uh, Marcelo Malpighi and Jan Swammerdam pioneered the study of entomology. Then William Kibri is widely considered as the father, father of entomology. That means father of entomology is William Kirby. Then in collaboration with William Spence, he published a definitive entomological encyclopedia, Introduction to Entomology. He also helped to found the Royal Entomological Society in London in 1833. Entomology developed rapidly in 19th and 20th centuries. So this is the history of entomology. Now I am going to tell about the binomial system 
uh, we know that uh, Carolus Linnaeus is the father of uh, this um, taxonomic binomial system. Then uh, Carolus Linnaeus introduced uh, the uh, binomial uh, system of nomenclature. Uh, his work that um, culminated in the publication of System and Nature, 10th edition in 1758. Christian Fabricus, um, Christian Fabricus overso overshadowed all the earlier insect taxonomists in his Systema Entomologica, 1775, and uh, subsequent volumes. He attempted to classify the insect fauna and entire world. So this is the bionomical system about the insect and uh, taxonomic system. Uh, this is the basic things of um, geographic area uh, such as uh, history of entomology basic things uh, in the next video we we'll learn about uh, learn more more about uh, this um, taxonomic system order uh, all the individual order will know with family and example of insects so that's all for today um, uh, thanks for watching see you again